I think we all can agree that bald is beautiful. A lot of famous, important historical figures, saints even, were bald. St. Peter, the first pope, is often pictured as bald. St. Francis of Assisi, who changed the, the course of history, the face of the earth, right? It's often pictured as bald. Uh, other historic figures, Winston Churchill comes to mind. Michael Jordan was bald. Being bald is also mentioned in the Bible. I'm not making this up. This is actually in the Bible. Okay, the second book of Kings. While Elisha, the prophet, was going up on the way, some small boys came out of the city and jeered at him, saying, Go up, you bald head. Go up, you bald head. And he turned around. And when he saw them, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two she-bears came out of the woods and tore 42 of the boys apart. Amen. So there you go. It's right there in the Bible. Don't make fun of bald people. On a serious note, uh, you know, we live in a culture that is obsessed with how we look. With looking perfect, perfect clothes, perfect makeup, perfect hair. Everything about the image. There's a beauty in simply accepting the way we are. Maybe in showing ourselves and showing others that we don't have to look perfect or dress perfect or be perfect. It's not about how we look on the outside. It's about the interior connection, the interior virtue that we have. When we have virtue, we have a beauty that's deeper, that's greater than anything that we can get on the outside will only last for a little while. I think I might need a little bit more wax uh, on top. I'm kind of losing the shine a little bit. 